Hey guys, Chief here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the PVS69 digital night vision setup. As a preface, I have no military, law enforcement, um, anything like that, no background. I'm just a concerned and prepared citizen for what's happening in our nation. So right here before you is the PVS69 uh, monocular. This is a digital setup that uses an FPV camera and display uh, for a budget night vision setup. Throughout this video, I'm going to reference a lot of items and uh, resources for this, and I'll leave those all in the description below. So, for those that don't know, night vision comes in either a digital or analog setup. Analog is usually the better option, though it costs more, it has much higher performance, and it's more durable, more reliable. This right here is a digital setup, and they do have an analog in production. This is referred to as a FOSCAD product because it's free and open source and it uses CAD computer aided design. This is pretty DIY because you're supposed to 3D print or obtain the case, the housing, everything for it on your own, solder it together and um, build it yourself. This differs from the standard PVS69 um, dual tube setup because I'm not using their housing and I'm also uh, just running it all internally inside this one tube. You can buy the dual tube setup if you don't want to make this your own from a site called Vonchner Farms or Vonchner F Farms. I don't really know how to say it. Um, for about $300 to $500. I don't remember the exact price. I made this on my own. Um, this one I've had set up since November of 2023. Since then, I've been pretty busy, but I've gone out and I shot with this, I think, three or four times. It's worked well. I've tried all different settings, but I've used this pretty much weekly since then, uh, whether it be on property patrols, um, small walks or hikes, whatever. Um, this one specifically is the cheapest option that you can get. I believe this probably cost me about $250 because I already had the soldering iron, the 3D printer. Um, but I had to buy all these parts. I, I'm not including the price of the setup for my helmet on there or the J arm, even though this is running on a Paz GT helmet, Paz get, um, I did already have the battery pack for it. This one specifically, if you guys know anything about the PVS 69 uses the V760 A3 display, which is the cheapest. It has the lowest resolution and FOV. Um, it uses the Xenocam lens. I think this is one of the more expensive lenses. It's like $10. It's just not the stock. It works well, um, but I do have to get a new printout as a shroud for it. I just haven't had time to print anything. Speaking of time constraints, why I didn't polish this up. This is pretty much a reaction video before PNW Gorilla pushes out their video on digital night vision. I just want to get this done quick. This uses the Runcam Night Eagle 3 um, camera setup which I believe is about $200. It should be the most expensive thing that you buy. I got this over the Foxy or Nightcat, I think is the alternative, just because it's reliable, it's good. It has slightly better performance and it doesn't have that big of a price difference. As well, it's easier for me at least to thread in the new lens. I'm not sure how well the camera can pick this up, but this is the inside of the unit with my soldering job. I stuck a DC port in the side Traditionally, these run off of a either um, AA or some other battery setup, um, but and regulated with a buck regulator. This one just uses a USB battery bank that's already at five volts, and it feeds directly in instead of going through a button. So throughout this next part, I'll try to put up some reference images and videos. Um, I have been able to get great videos with this. Um, night vision setup just because it's hard. I don't have any um, anything to put up to the camera besides my phone. So the footage you're seeing here is a waxing crescent with 14% illumination with trees and some nearby uh, buildings. I was using a Chinese made 850 nanometer light um, for the illuminator. It's a standalone unit. I'll put that in the description. I also used a Sumo Gear PEC-15 that I have with the flashlight, an IR, and visible laser. Um, it was the cheapest option, 
and I didn't go with it because it was the cheapest. I wanted an integrated flashlight, but honestly, it's so dim. I would just get a full ultra high power um, Somo gear setup and use that instead. This works really well. I've also compared the, I think it's the Bushnell Equinox um, monocular, which is really good for like an LPOP or for animal detection, but that cannot be used in a combat environment. It's just not trustworthy good enough. I wouldn't use it. Um, and it was only like $100 less than this. Um, if this is all you can get, just remember noise and light discipline when it comes to combat. Um, I'd try to get analog if you could, but of course I can't, you know, work with what you have. It's better to have this than to have nothing. This would work really well in an LPOP. Um, within just final remarks, I would say the pros and cons. The pros are that this is cheap. It works really well for the price. It's all DIY and customizable. You can upgrade it and change it how you want. It's not expensive to change. There's a really good community, whether it be on uh, GitHub or Discord behind this, which I'll link again in the description. This is constantly updated and changed by the developers. They've came out with a thermal setup with a quad nod setup analog. It's just in whatever is in your budget. Another pro is that this can be used during the day for training, whether it be, um, you know, just practicing combat drills or maneuvering, whether it be on foot or in vehicle. The cons, it's digital, which means it has worse performance than analog. It requires more infrared light, which is bad for light discipline. And a note that I should be able to put in is it grabs on to and um, it really focuses on objects that are closer that are illuminated so it makes it a little hard to use through foliage this is also less durable especially within my state i don't have the shroud up here i'm going to get that put on soon um and this isn't waterproof it just depends on the filament that you use some guy in the pnw gorilla um telegram recommended a i think silicon gel to put on here for waterproofing which i might try um, this is also for content creators a little harder to record with because unlike the Psyonix Aurora or something similar, it doesn't have any integrated, um, recording features, but I believe that's all I have for you. This is my setup here. Um, for me, this has worked really well. I'm happy with how it's came out. That should be it. Thanks guys for viewing. I'm praying for you all. God bless.